It is time for business news. Haley Wynn joins us from Business in Vancouver. We apologize beforehand for the audio. It's a little bit spotty, but good morning, Haley. Good morning, Randy. Let's talk first about what um, our Prime Minister is doing in Asia, and he is trying to um, expand Canadian business presence on something called Alibaba. What's that? That's right. So Alibaba is the world's largest e-commerce site. It's actually around triple the size of Amazon, if you can believe it. Last year, they held 80% of China's e-commerce market share, and that's a share worth 600 billion U.S. So new initiatives being announced between the federal government and the executive chairman of Alibaba Group are intended to give Canadian businesses more access to that market. It's a market of 400 million users based in China. So one of the deals that they announced was a Canada pavilion on the e-commerce site. This will help Canadian products and services sort of appear there under a branded element and give companies greater access, of course, to that market. There's another announcement made between Air Canada and Alitrip, which is Alibaba's air platform service that allows people to book flights online. That takes the form of having an Air Canada flagship store online and more, of course, branding for Canada on Alibaba. So quite a big deal moving forward. Really gives Canadian companies here of all sizes greater market to a growing consumer base in China. Absolutely. All right. And let's touch on the big business story of the morning, Haley. Enbridge is buying a big company in the U.S. That's right. This is a deal announced today worth $37 billion. Enbridge is, of course, Canada's largest pipeline company and the company behind BC's Northern Gateway Pipeline Project. This is a merger between Spectra Energy Corp., which is based in Houston, Texas. Under the deal, both companies would merge under Enbridge's name and they'd be headquartered in Calgary. Enbridge would own around 57% of Spectra. Spectra shareholders would take the rest. And together, they are claiming that they'll become North America's largest energy infrastructure company with an enterprise value of $165 billion. Very significant. It absolutely is. All right, we'll have much more on that throughout the day, but we're done for now. Haley, thank you so much. Thank you.